such a super time of the this year. This might be hard to believe, but a decade ago, like Marge Schott was Christmas absolutely gift charming. The the city she was the rarest of corporate and, leaders. Um, she liked to be around the fans. She signed autographs. She even did the wave. Locally, Marge was already popular. Her barking car ads were a staple on local TV. She had fought and beaten giant GM. Everybody loved the underdog. When the zoo needed an elephant, Marge would buy one. But when she bought the Reds, she got national attention. If you're not a baseball fan, hold on. Before this story's over, we may make you one, or at least make you a fan of the Queen of the Reds. Even the curmudgeons of 60 Minutes were enchanted. We all were. This was an owner we could identify with. Remember when she paid John Denny $400,000 and he got hurt and couldn't pitch? And I said, well, can he do yard work or what? You know, and they looked at me like I was crazy. They said, no, you just send him home. And I thought, this is nuts. She was saying what most fans would like to say. It made no difference what Miller, network, so what Marge show, what subject matter, Marge was in demand. She wasn't part of the Drabble Baseball Boys Club. She was different and fresh and charming. So what happened? Did she change? Well, when controller Tim Sabo leveled charges, we got to know a bigoted Marge. When the Mariners wanted to pair the Griffies, but Marge said, what's in it for me? We got to know a selfish Marge. When she went through general manager after general manager, we got to know an impatient Marge. One manager got fed up, another got sent out, a legend never got much of a chance. Eric Davis nearly killed himself making a catch for her team, and she wouldn't give him a lift home. We said, shame on you, Marge. To our wonderful women and but some men things didn't need to be reported. Her World Series slurring was out there for the us. whole world to hear. Tolerance wasn't her strong suit. Is that a boy or a girl? It's a young right man with a modern well, hair. He'll never be out here again with Long hair history. wasn't the only problem. The more she said, the more we read. Hi, honey, the same things that made Marge a national celebrity. The accessibility, the frankness, her affection for the cameras, eventually through TV and through print, had changed the way the world saw Marge. Maybe we got to know her too well. It seemed appropriate that red ribbons were placed on the Warren County Animal Shelter sign in Lebanon. They framed a message saying, Marge, we will miss you. She was rough on the outside, but she was very tender on the inside. She, was, she had a very soft heart. Marge quietly donated $25,000 to help expand the shelter. Workers today wore red armbands to express their sympathy. She loves animals. I mean, every animal that come by, oh, honey, that dog is just darling. Be sure and spay and neuter your pets. And, and she just, she loves every animal, dogs especially. Things seemed very quiet at Shot Buick in Norwood. The normally busy second floor office was empty. Workers went about their tasks, but had one united message. To, to send our condolences to the Shot family and the Underwear family and to let them know that they're in our prayers, and uh, the employees uh, are mourning. Marge treated employees like family. Some have served for decades. She knew everyone's name and background. But she wanted to know what was going on, if they, if they had a baby or whatever it may be. She wanted to know she was involved in their personal lives. General Sales Manager Mike Horvath has been there 24 years and will continue to run it in the future. But the biggest thing she wanted was the customers to be kept happy. Give them more than what they expected to get when they came here. Reminders of Marge shot were all over town today. This sign outside St. Ursula Academy in East Walnut Hill. Her name on the All Saints Church Parish Center in Kenwood, plus the Boys and Girls Club facility in Covington. It's the loss of a, a benefactor, but more importantly, the loss of someone who cared about young people and wanted to just find ways to improve their lives. Marge never forgot what it was like to be a kid and gave $250,000 to remodel that Covington Center. Our kids have benefited from thousands of free Reds tickets, season after season, and for most of these kids, that's probably the only opportunity they ever get to see a ball game. At Marge's Indian Hill Estate, a lone carnation adorned the entrance. It was a reminder of a baseball owner who never forgot the fan. Children that walk up to her give her, uh, giving out autographs and things like that. It's, it just shows us that how much she was involved with the team as well as the community. Marge Schott believed in institutions that developed character in young people. Marge is probably the most misunderstood woman in the United States. This woman's got a heart as big as gold. I mean, I've seen her make million dollar checks out for charities without batting an eye. She has a true compassion. St. Ursula Academy was on Marge's charitable list. 
I think Marge has been our most generous benefactor. So is the Dan Beard Council of the Boy Scouts. Marge has been phenomenally important. And don't forget the Vanishing Giants exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo. We wouldn't have been able to build this facility without Marge. The new classroom building at St. Ursula Academy was built with a million dollar shot donation. It prominently carries her name. Marge believed in St. Ursula. She believed in uh, Catholic education for women, and she believed that uh, Catholic education uh, helped develop character formation and that these young women could be leaders uh, and help make a difference in the worlds of tomorrow. Schott's million dollar contribution helped the Boy Scouts build an 18 acre lake at Camp Friedlander. All of our Scouts have benefited from Marge's benevolence. I think the thing I enjoy the most is to deal with the general public, to try and make people happy. If you don't have the fans and you don't have the public, you have nothing. that means a lot to me.